And this is one of the bodysuits that he got me. I hope y'all can see it. All about money. Yeah, I want to Look, I don't be stressing about none of these niggas. When they be talking, I don't even listen. Telling me secrets, I probably forgot. The house cut the game outside. Hey y'all, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm at Stir, one of my favorite places, getting some lunch. I had, um, took some photos, and I gotta run to Dara's house after this, but I came up here to get some to eat and have my favorite drink, which is an aviation. Um, so, that's what I'm doing, and then I'll show you guys my food when it comes out. Hey y'all, good morning. It is Friday, I believe. I think it's Friday, child. And I just pulled up to get my hair braided. So I'm getting knotless braids. Um, I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm trying to make sure I have everything. So I'm getting ready to go in, girl. This is the before. So as you can see, it's a gloomy, rainy day. I love to romanticize my life as much as I can. So I light a candle just to really get into the mood. Good morning. I don't know why I'm blurry. Oh, gosh. Okay, good morning, y'all. So it is Monday, um, July. What is it, girl? July 19th. So I haven't come back. The last time I spoke to y'all, I told y'all I was getting my knotless braids done. And I got them done on saturday so this is how they look this is me like freshly waking up i just came from dare's house actually yeah i went grocery shopping this morning grabbed a couple things so i could cook tonight it's a rainy day out i probably can't tell but it's a rainy day and i just kind of want to get some content done for tiktok and for instagram reels so that's probably what I'm going to do today. I still need to go to the hair store, which I'll probably do later when I head back to Dare's house. And besides that, I'm getting ready to make some breakfast. I'm just going to make some egg whites and some turkey bacon. And I think I'm going to give y'all an updated skin routine. So I'm going to do an updated skin routine for day and night. Because I've been getting a lot of questions about my skin. Even though right now, <laughs> i got a little breakout. But... Other than that, I've been getting a lot of compliments, rather, about my skin. So I figured it's time to share with you guys the skin routine because I wanted to try products for a certain amount of time to see if they were even worth talking about and things like that. So, but I'm just popping in to say hi. I got some new lashes. I don't know if I showed y'all. Probably not because I haven't talked to y'all. I'll show y'all some of the lashes that I got. Dare hit me up while I was getting my hair braided and he was like, I'm at the at the mall. Do you want anything from Sephora? And I'm like, yeah, I need some lashes. So this boy grabs all the lashes that he saw that I might like and some um, lash glue, some facial cleanser to keep at his house, like the same one that I use here. Something else he grabbed. I don't know. So let me show y'all that. And the braids are to my butt. And the knotless braids, these took like eight hours like seven or eight hours and these are considered medium but it depends because everybody has a different like guideline for their braid sizes so yeah okay so let me show y'all these lashes y'all know these lashes is like thirty dollars a pop so i was like you did not have to do all that but that was really kind okay damn let me turn my light on it's so gloomy Oh shit, I ain't even got my switch on. I can't turn the light on. Okay, so I got these Lily Lashes. This is in the style. Lord, it's the problem we're going to have today. I love Moana. And they're real cute. And they flare out. Then we have 34th Street. I wore these the other day. 
Then we have Beverly Drive. My more dramatic lash. And these are like layered. God damn, y'all can't even see them. I'm sorry, y'all. I really can't get this open right now, but this is what it's given. Very dramatic and cute. And, and then this one is Miami. Okay. Yeah. I have been just really hanging out with Dare and his son because he has his son for a bit. They've been on the road, but like they come back here and there. So I'll go over there. He'll come over here. We went to, where did we go this past weekend? We went to, we didn't go nowhere. I think we were in the house. A friend of mine and I went to the new restaurant that I've been wanting to try. I don't know if I mentioned it to y'all, but it was called 800 Degrees uh, Wood Fired Grill or whatever. Do not recommend. Mm -mm. I don't know if it's the, because they just opened. They got to work the kinks out. That's probably what it is. But I just felt like the seating was way, 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 way too tight. The seating was just, it just... It seemed crammed like I don't even know if there was another side of the restaurant or not but what I was expecting was not what we got the food was okay it wasn't like anything to write home about I ordered some wings and I would have liked them to be cooked a little bit more I ordered some truffle fries that didn't even really taste truffly I love truffle fries I ordered salmon which was okay and I ordered broccolini, which was okay. So I haven't been doing a whole, whole lot. I've been doing things, but just not anything pertaining to like YouTube. I'm getting ready to probably make some breakfast. Like I said, drink this coffee and then get started on this content and stuff. So... Yeah, when I come back, y'all will be seeing my new skin routine. Okay. Hey, girls. So, I'm going to talk loud so that I can make sure that y'all can hear me. Because I got the window down. But I'm on my way to the nail shop. Y'all know I go to two different nail techs. So, if I want to go get my designs and all my crazy stuff, I go to Top Coat by TS. And if I want to go get my natural nails kind of like back in order, I go to Jador. So I'm going to Jador today because I can't get in with Tiff anyway. And I need to do content. And I hate doing content. Like specific content that I want to do. Like I told y'all yesterday, I was going to be doing the skin routine and stuff. But I just couldn't because I had ended up taking off a nail. And it's all ate up. I had to um, take off a nail unexpectedly and I have a broken nail um because I cut I had to get that new ring out so I'm on a new birth control this is just went from doo -doo -doo. but I'm on a new birth control and I could not y'all get I couldn't feel it I was like oh my god where is this birth control it was like in there in there like in there so I had to freaking remove my nail so that I could feel the damn birth control to pull it out anyway so that's what I'm doing. I'm on my way to go get the rest of these nails taken off. And then I'm going to get the SNS dip powder. So I kind of want a French manicure. But we'll see. I don't know. I might be feeling like a bright color once I get in there. So we'll see. And I just ate some apples. Some green apples. And some toast. Like four miles. Turn right onto Providence Road. Some toast. And I usually like to be there when they open. Because... Them hoes be lined up, but I couldn't make it when they opened because I was coming from Darren's house and I had to stop at my house and all this other stuff. So we'll see what it's looking like when I get there. At least, hopefully, I can sit down and start soaking my nails, even if I do have to wait for somebody to come do my nails. But I know specifically, I have a specific person I I like to do my nails in there. So once I find somebody I like, I stick with them, typically. So I hope everything goes well, because it's already going to be like 
when I really get in there and that's just like, I don't know. But anyway, so we'll see what happens, guys. Y'all, so I'm up here at Starbucks because I went in there and like I said, the boy wasn't even there. So, and then he asked somebody, oop, oh my god. Ken was not at the nail shop and then he has someone at 11 so they asked me to come back at 3 which I obliged and I did not want to but anyway I need my nails done so now I'm at Starbucks and um I ordered a white chocolate mocha with almond milk seven pumps of white mocha and whipped cream um and I put almond milk in there so I'm just going to go over to Dare's house and then I'll just go back to the nail shop at 3. Which is going to take until they probably close because Jesus. But something's stinking here. Anyways, that's what's going on. So I guess. And I got this acne cream on child because I got this little bump. Usually by the second day, my acne cream will have killed it, but mm -mm. it's cool. Oh, bitch, I'm on the fucking curb. <laughs> hey, y'all. So today is Wednesday, and it's like mm, 10 48. I'm getting ready to go for a little walk, a little exercise. <sighs> I got my hair up in a bun. But yeah, y'all, I got my nails done yesterday. I told y'all that I had to actually end up getting scheduled for later. I don't know if I told y'all that or if I told Darren that. But um, these are the nails. They're not my typical like nails or whatever, but I think they're really clean. They're, they're all right. They'll do, girl. Plus, I need short nails because trying to re remove that nuva ring yesterday girl was like it was traumatizing okay i couldn't I, I had to literally snatch off my other index my other index fingernail just so i could get the finger in there and reach the little ring because i couldn't feel the ring because of my nail it was just it's, it's, it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot. So I do like the new ring so far. I took it out. I had to leave it out for seven days. I haven't had any like spotting or anything that I thought I was going to have. I haven't had a period. So I don't know what's up with this thing. So I've been enjoying it though. It's cool. So yeah, I'm getting ready to go out on a little walk. I don't know if I'm going to bring y'all or not. Um, I think I have the route in my head that I want to walk. Yeah, I think I have the rat in my head, so I don't know. I might bring y'all, I might not. So, talk to you later. Oh, and I am having a green smoothie. Um, it's just some fruit that comes in a little package from Food Lion. And I'll, all I add to it is yogurt and like a, some kind of orange banana juice or any kind of fruit medley juice. I, it's real simple. So um, that's that. I stopped at Target because I had to get some allergy medicine. My allergies are just very disgusting. So I got some nasal spray and I got some Allegra. Tell me which one y'all prefer. I had Zyrtec that I was taking, but I'm going to try the Allegra. Hopefully it's stronger and I had to get a nasal spray because like I'm that girl that my nose will run constantly. Especially like if I have on my mask and I'm like doing something where I can't like yesterday I was getting my nails done. <sighs> the nose is just running under the mask. It's so embarrassing. So anyways, if you have allergies like me, let me know what you use. Because sometimes I don't even be wanting to go outside. Especially when I do my makeup. But anyways, I'll let y'all know how this meditation works. So, I'm getting ready to go for my walk. I just got my beats charging a little bit. And I'll see you guys later. I have a lot of content to film today. So, I'll see y'all later. Hey y'all, so I'm finally back from my walk. And then I worked out in the gym. So, let's get straight into this daytime facial routine. So, the first thing I'm going to do is wash my face with my Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This is the same cleanser that I've been using for a while now. I love, I love this cleanser. It's gentle. 
um, it's rich in amino acids it's for any skin type so I just wet my face and I do actually have a breakout right now which I think is just from hormones because I'm on a new birth control but I take my soy cleanser And then sometimes I'll go in with my vibrating stem, uh, facial brush. It's like a facial brush and massager. I got it from Amazon. I've showed it to y'all before. But I'll find the link so I can show it to you again. But I need to charge it. So I will show y'all what it kind of does. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get that little relaxation going. And it's like the silicone bristles, you know? And that first cleanse is just to kind of, you know, wash off the debris if you have any debris on your face. And then I always go in for a second cleanse. Okay, y'all, so the next thing I do is I use my Dickinson's Witch Hazel. And this is the Pore Perfecting Toner. So I get, I was using the Chanel towelettes, but now I just have cotton rounds just because I haven't gone to the store, uh, the mall rather, to get some more of the Chanel towelettes. I really like the Chanel towelettes though. Um, I don't know, it just makes your whole experience more fun and bougie. Um, and they're really soft. They're actually good. They're a good product. Use this and then I go behind my ears because I don't know about y'all, but I get these little oil bumps behind my ears sometimes. I don't know. In the back of the neck. Then I take, then I take my Kiehl's Daily Refining Milk Peel Toner, shake it up. This has a lipohydroxy acid and 23% emollients with almond milk. So this evens out the texture and it improves your texture and reduces pore size and all that stuff. I love how my skin glows after I use this product. It just leaves like a really pretty finish on the skin. And typically the next thing that I do is I will apply my Black Girl Sunscreen. Oh my gosh. Things were going so well when this little guy popped up, but I'm not about to mess with it. And I'm going to tell y'all what I've been putting on that. I mean, I did try to extract it last night because I just wanted to see, you know, what it was giving, but it wasn't giving anything. So I left it alone and um, put some warm compresses on it. And then it feels like it's trying to come to the surface, but that black girl sunscreen is honestly the truth. It's like the best product that has come out for black girls. Cause I don't know if y'all remember back when I was younger, 
and maybe when some of you were younger and coming up there was not options on the market for a sunscreen that black girls could wear without the white cast and this doesn't give you the white cast it just gives you a very beautiful glow <laughs> I hate the fact that I have this pimple but this is really what my skin is giving Another thing that's just really improved my skin, took my skin to the next level, is eating a lot of salmon and drinking a lot of water. I cut so much juices and soda out of my diet. That's all I used to drink. And I used to just really be depressed about my skin. But when I really, I never used to listen to anybody when they would say, drink water, drink water. And I was like, why? But why? But it truly has like improved my skin. I have my guilty pleasures like everybody else and sometimes I don't fight the urge girl I really don't sometimes I'm just like I give in but this is a product of doing that or it could be a product of you know new birth control or whatever but I'm going to show y'all what I've been using to put on top of this and when I do get a breakout what I've been using that usually clears up my breakout within mm, four or five days come on as far as what I've been using for when I have a breakout, I use the Dr. Dennis Gross Clarifying Mask with Colloidal Sulfur, and this is an acne medication. So the same person that makes, so the same guy that makes these, these little peel pads, I have this. And so what I do is I just take a little dab of it, and you're just supposed to put a small amount on your breakout and I just leave it there. I went out earlier with it on. Apply a thin layer to the affected skin and leave on for at least 10 minutes, then rinse and apply, or apply as a spot treatment under makeup. You can also use it as an overnight treatment by applying a thin layer to the face and washing it off in the morning. Those are your three options on how you can wear it. So this is how I choose to wear it. This has been the most effective for me. Yeah, this has been the most effective method for me. Um, and that's just what I do with my face. I have a night routine that I will show y'all later. So I'm going to go ahead and get into doing what I got to do. But, yep, this is it. Okay, I'm back, y'all. Hold on. That's scary. Let me find out that's a trap song. Okay, look, check it out. Okay, I'm back with my full face beat. And I have to remove it now, which is the nighttime routine. Yes, I'm in a different bathroom. I'm going to start by using the Hydro Boost Cleansing Towelettes by Neutrogena. These have hyaluronic acid in them, which scared me. Not going to lie, because hyaluronic acid makes my skin do funky things. But these have done me really, really well. And I'm going to show you just how good these do me. So let's get started. Oh, I gotta take my expensive ass lashes off. That's someone else bought me. Okay, so I hope you ladies have a wonderful day. I had some pretty stressful shit happen to me today, and then I got over it and I did some content. I filmed like three videos today, so unfortunately, I will be wearing the same outfit, but the content must go on. Okay. And I use the entire towelette. I don't care if there's like one space right here that's empty. It's getting used. So that's that. Very gentle around the eyes. Always. And then uh, this last little semi-clean piece is just going to get the lippy off. Okay. I don't even need the whole thing, but still. I'm gonna have to delete something because I only have two minutes left. 
the skin is skinning okay and then i have to go through with all my steps and we're gonna wash our hands we're gonna take the fresh cleanser remember the one we had from earlier i get to keep this one over here and i happen to have a scrubby pad that i keep over here so this is about to be a one Bitch, I'm a star, got these niggas wishing. He say he hungry, this pussy the kitchen. Yeah, that's my doubt, he gon' sit down and listen. Call him a trick and he poke it a hug. Bitch, I'm a star, got these niggas wishing. He say he hungry, this pussy the kitchen. Yeah, that's my doubt, he gon' sit down and listen. Call him a trick and he poke it a hug. So I got all of the base makeup off. I always cleanse twice. I'm just seeing if she wants to be messed with and she still does not. So I'm gonna move on to my Kiehl's Daily Refining Kiehl Toner. He has some cotton balls here so I can go see his kids. Another pimple on the side of the cheek on the other side. Okay. Pimples happen. At the most inconvenient times, but that's neither her nor Fresh Seaberry Moisturizing Facial Oil. Okay, you get that from Sephora. Pretty pricey. It's like $53. But I love it. Put it on all over. Even under your chin. Get it everywhere, like, don't be ashamed. If you want to go back in for even another pump, go right ahead. Who's gonna stop you? Now, last but not least, put the acne treatment on, like we did earlier. So I'm only gonna put a little dab will do ya, remember? I don't know how well it's gonna stick now that we've been messing with oil and such. Hang on. I'm at my mom's. She made me breakfast. Yeah, anyways, hey y'all, good morning. So, I came to my mom's house. I got some stuff going on at my apartment that I'm just not comfortable with. And I don't want to talk about it. Just know there's something that I have a phobia of and I can't deal. So, until they figure that out, child. I don't know, I just wanted to get out of, I honestly was feeling lonely and I wanted to get out of there. It was Friday. Darren been gone for so long. naja has been gone. And Naja told me she wanted to come home early. So I drove out here. It's only two hours. So I'm about to eat my breakfast. My mom is crafting. I'm going to show you guys what she's been working on. It's so amazing. So I'll show y'all that in a little bit. You want to make funnel cake? Look at my baby, y'all. Ain't seen her in so long. Say hi. Hi. What grade you going to? Middle school. Sixth grade. You want to make cookies or funnel cake, you say? Yeah, we'll funnel cake. That'd be cool. Oh, okay. We're done. We're good. You want to buy it or you want to make it? Buy it. My baby wants funnel cakes. Later, I assume. Ah, come here, babe. Come here. Just go ahead and move that out the way. So you ain't got to hear nobody mouth. Okay, y'all, so this is one of the crafts that she's making. Oh, my God, the dog is out of control. So I think this can be a candle holder, a vase holder. She says she can make it a trash can. I don't know, but she's getting ready to ombre spray paint it. I mean, please hold that. Thank you. 
Okay, now this one is, um, what do you call this? Lake Tahoe. This is Lake Tahoe, but what what is this? Painting pour. Paint pour. Maybe it is. I just can't tell. So it's actually a vase, but it's turned upside down. Okay. And so I said, well, I can do something besides church ministry. Now, I still look Jasper, what the hell? Come here. Jasper, it's just a camera, man. Come here. Come here. Girl, he is so funny. Oh, it's already lit. <laughs> that looks cute like that. Like, if we did that and put a whole bunch of gold trinkets or whatever right around the middle, that would be cute, too. Yeah. Picasso. We're going to call her Nicasso because her it's name's Nadine. Yes, the pink up top. It's really apricot or sunrise. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh wow. That's pretty. Do Don't be scared, girl. Let her rip. Oh, Ashley. Oh, that's beautiful. That's so pretty. You gonna do more, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, you guys. This is the finished product. It's so cute. Look at that. It's an ombre. This is blue, gold, and like a. I call it salmon, but I think it's coral. By the sea. This one is called By the Sea. This is so cute. I'm obsessed. Oh, oh my god, the battery's about to die. Well, we just got home. My battery's dying. So I have to charge my freaking camera battery now. But we just got home. We're unpacking. Okay, y'all. So I went to the dentist today at 9 30. I had an appointment. And if you watched the last vlog, this is the new dentist that I have been seeing and everything. But I usually have this one lady and I didn't get her today. So I had somebody else, but they were really nice. Like they are very, very, very nice. Like OD nice. But the feelings, oh my God. I guess I just, y'all, I really, really, really been neglecting my oral health. Like as far as going to the dentist, like I go to the dentist, but we moved you know and then there was covid so you know we had a dentist back in Fayetteville but coming here we had to get you know reacclimated re with everything and then once I finally did get my insurance straight and stuff because with the VA um it's really difficult like the dental is not really covered but because of the type of um disability that I have and stuff um my dental is covered so what the fuck so i didn't find that out until recently so anyways so basically i was paying out of pocket for this other dentist and i have dental insurance but it really didn't pay much so all those little factors in there and then just being neglectful so yeah, i'm catching up on everything so i've had another deep cleaning I've had, but I didn't have to get like the full mouth. It was only like my back teeth. Um, and she told me like that's actually kind of normal because I've had so many teeth removed 
braces and all those things things have shifted around and then certain spots are just more likely to have tartar build up and stuff like that i'm not no dirty bitch y'all but i like internally the i needed to see the dentist you know i could brush my teeth floss my teeth but at the end of the day i needed to see the dentist because i've had cavities and stuff and the fillings that need to be replaced so i went today and oh my god i was in there so long like it's a small little practice so the dentist is literally it's only one dentist so he has to see all the patients and do everything and very nice guy um very personable and so he was just doing a lot of work a lot of work on only three fillings i had three fillings on you know he had to retake out the old ones replace i had to get needles in my mouth all kind of stuff so listen if you've been neglecting the dentist like me go get your teeth done sis because listen the longer you wait the worse it's gonna be that's my rant so my mouth is sore and uh i need to eat something i've kind of been taking some content photo um you know i've been doing content for basics of beauty so um i just did a reel and i just did a tiktok for that and i'm actually gonna eat i need to put my new ring back in because today i guess is the last day of my period i don't know but i need to put the new ring back in Ugh. and it's actually raining now let's see if i can show y'all when i'm always looking off to the side i'm looking out this window which i need to stop doing but you know i really want to pose a question to my subscribers or anybody that is a bush baby a bush baby is somebody that watches but you don't necessarily comment what content do you guys want to see like what kind of content are you guys into because me y'all know i do a lot of different things now there are some things that i do want to incorporate that i haven't really been incorporating that much um so that will be coming it will be more fashion forward content but someone made a comment that my page has been stagnant and that they wish i would do better content and that my page is not growing now for me i thought that you guys were enjoying what i was putting out but if you guys have suggestions i thought i always told you guys to let me know and we'll see if it's something that i can do but if you don't let me know, I'm thinking, you know, y'all just like what I post. So I will go back to look at, you know, certain things that I've been doing, what's done well and what you guys enjoy. You guys seem to enjoy skincare. You guys seem to have been enjoying my vlogs, like when we go shopping. So if there's something else that you guys or, you know, if you feel like I would better be suited for, it's nothing wrong with y'all saying that, you know what I'm saying? anyways and i appreciate the continued support and that's it i'm about to get get started on some of that stuff i have to do i have some laundry in the wash um Nasia is home i don't know if i showed you yeah i did Nasia's home she's you know taking her shower and doing what she want to do that's it i guess darren i'm supposed to see darren today he's supposed to come back he hasn't been home for like a week he's been on the road so I'm excited to see him today <laughs> we have been in couples therapy y'all mm. let me just say if you have been considering couples therapy if you've been on the fence about it go go but you gotta have the right therapist he found this these these this this company that has these therapists and i must say he did a great job um the lady that we have she's black which is awesome because it's already relatable she knows and she understands the type of lifestyle you know what i'm saying and it's not like we have to excuse me explain certain things sometimes there can be a barrier just based off of having a black therapist versus having a white therapist latino therapist or whatever sometimes you can't really relate and so we can relate to her she relates to us she shares things about her relationship nothing crazy personal but certain little hurdles that her and her husband have gotten over it's so relatable so yeah that's where we're at and we're just learning more about each other but i gotta go my mouth hurts 
and it kind of feels like it tastes like metal. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna how long at you guys later. Hey y'all, so um, I'm just coming on to tell y'all that Dare does not care about me. He got me going out looking like this. <sighs> Anything to say? I'm trying to get dressed. Okay y'all, so we're going to Dave and Buster's. We got all the kiddos today. So good. So y'all, this is Darren's um, project and he's making rain clouds. This is so crazy. At first he just showed me like this and I was like being supportive but not really like understanding. But th th I see what he's doing now. I can't believe this. It's so creative. And Caleb's helping him out. Wow. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, so Neja and I are back home. We were at Darren's house for two days and we're back home now. And we had to stop at Sephora. I'm doing my makeup for content, you know. We had to stop at Sephora, girl, because I didn't have any more setting spray. And when I got to Sephora, they didn't have the setting spray that I like to use, which is the Smashbox. Um, so I had to opt for the Makeup Forever light velvet air um so they said that this one is really good for uh, i think what is it normal to oily skin basically it won't dry you out because it doesn't have um let's see does it have any alcohol in it oh alcohol is like one of the next to last ingredients in this so this one supposedly doesn't dry you out so i'm gonna try it and i also picked up let me put that right here. I also picked up this Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. This little mask was $20. So I hope it works. Because I had a breakout. And I kind of want to go in with the mask to kind of clear everything up. So I'm going to try that. I like Kiehl's. I like their brand. And then I also picked up uh, two blushes. One blush is called heated and that's this one and then this one is called hot flush and that's this one and i think i'm gonna mix these so when i get ready to put these on i'll come back on the vlog and show y'all um because they're sealed up let me open them real quick 
so I can show y'all uh, what they're looking like. Hold on, let me see if I have. Okay, so. So this blush is like a, kind of like a terracotta-ish uh, rust, I think. Let's see. On my finger, it looks really corally. It looks really pretty. So there's that. And then the other one, which is Hot Flush, is... I guess this one's more terracotta um, than the other one, but it's got just the orange and gold hue to it, and I thought that was really pretty, and I thought it would be really pretty to probably mix the two on my skin tone. So that's what I have from Sephora, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up my makeup, and then when I get ready to put the blush on, I will come and show y'all. Okay, y'all. So this is the more golden bronze one. This is so pretty. Oh my god. And then I'm just gonna put the pink one on top. The way I sit at my desk, the light doesn't face that way. So I'm gonna just put it on and then I'll come show y'all. But while I'm here, let me show y'all. Darren bought me a bunch of outfits from um I think it's Sonia B's. And this is one of the bodysuits that he got me. I hope y'all can see it. It's got pockets. I live for a pocket girl. And I just threw on these Gianni Benai sandals. And I'm about to go out here. Now I'm about to go out here and shoot some content with Nasia. I got some uh I got some jewelry that was gifted to me. Um a jade and gold ring. My jade thumb ring. Rings that I got from uh H&M or Forever 21, can't remember. And then this one was gifted to me by Darren from Cervoski. And some plain gold hoops, probably from Forever 21 as well. Gemini necklace from Small Boutique that I don't think is in business anymore, unfortunately. So, happy bae. Gotta be some hand sand, babe, right there. Okay, y'all, so this is the rug that I got from at home. This is one of those, you know, the ones that take the pressure off your back and stuff. Not like I do a whole lot of dishes, but that's that. Okay, I got this toilet bowl scrubber, um, toilet brush holder, whatever. And this was $8.99. I got the bronze color because that's like the theme in my bathroom, kind of, I guess. Nasia got this one. This one was $7.99. I got a pack of hangers. These are velvet hangers with the gold hanger. And these were $9.99. Okay, y'all. I got these silicone trivet um, things. These are going to go in my sink as a, like, a... 
Hold on, let me just show you. I know that's not what they're for, but I need them in my sink, girl. Trust me when I say I just do. I got some hand soap because I'm out in my bathroom. <laughs> Something cheap. This was $3.99. Then I seen these at the right before you check out. And I've been wanting some jewelry wipes. And these were $4.99. And there's 25 wipes in here. And then this is for Darren because he literally does not have a trash can in his bathroom. So this is for Darren. $5.99. Oh, so that was my at home haul and Neja and I ate some good dinner so now we're gonna relax and I hope you guys enjoyed okay I know this vlog was kind of boring I'm sorry but there's more exciting things coming since you guys have told me some of the videos that you kind of want to see so I'm gonna plan some of that out and there will be different content coming until next time thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys